So you've just inherited a home. Now what? Hey guys, Tyler here with Bridgelight Properties and today we're going to talk about what to do if you've inherited a home. We buy a lot of properties from people who inherit homes that they really uh, aren't sure what to do with and how to uh, kind of capitalize on. So I want to talk to you about some options you have um, if, you ha if you find yourself in that situation. So first, this video will assume that you've already been through the probate process, you've paid off all debts associated with the asset and the will itself. Typically, you've inherited a home because someone feels like you're a responsible person. They feel like you're going to be able to fulfill their intent with the property or the asset, and they're just hoping to pass on their, a piece of their wealth that will help you on your journey and your life. So while this is very sentimental and your heirs have thought this through, they've thought about how they want to hand this to you, um, you know, it doesn't come without a lot of additional responsibilities to the person who receives the home. You know, now you're responsible for upkeep, you're responsible for taxes and insurance on the home, you have to maintain the yard and keep up with any code violations that may be going on with the property. So there does, it does come with uh, some additional responsibility, but there's also a huge upside as well. And so I want to talk through some of the options that you have with this home. So a lot of your options depend on the current condition of the home when you inherit it. So the first option is, do you wanna move into the home? Is it a nicer home than yours? Is it in a desirable location? Um, have you thought about uh, kind of uprooting and moving to the location where this property exists? But the first step we always ask people are, do, would you like to live in the home? Would you like to keep it and move into the home? So the second option, if you're not open to moving into the home and that's really not your intent, uh, the second option is to still keep the home and use it as a rental. Now, if you're up for learning how to manage and screen tenants, get familiar with your landlord laws in your local county, and you really like the idea of recurring monthly income, renting out the property is a good option. However, if you have sentimental value in the home, uh, sometimes it's a little hard to get over kind of putting tenants in there of someone who might not take the best care of something your family has had and has lived in and you guys have a good sentimental value in. Now next, if the property is in decent condition or if you're open to doing the repairs and updates on the property yourself, you might want to consider selling the property the traditional way on the market with a real estate agent. So we have other videos on how to find a good agent in your market, but if you're really concerned with getting top dollar and really want to maximize this opportunity, this might be a great avenue for you that you might want to explore. Now sometimes we talk with sellers who have a lot of sentimental value, going into the home just brings back too much memories, it's a rough time for them. Um, they just want to cut ties with it and sell the property as is with really not much involvement at all. Um, and that brings us to our last option is selling to a professional home buyer like us here at Bridgelight Properties. We buy homes for cash, we buy them as is. We can close on any flexible schedule. So whenever someone is ready, whenever you might feel comfortable um, doing that, we can always work with creative solutions where sometimes on the market, you're really kind of driven by an accepted offer and a time frame within that offer. So. Those are really the options you have when you've inherited a property, but you just want to make sure you don't wait too long. Um, kind of that upkeep and taxes and insurance can start to dig into any profit you might have. So just stay on top of it, kind of keep it top of mind, think through your options, and if you have any questions, give us a call. Happy to talk to you about your house and your situation. Again here, Tyler with Bridgelight Properties. If this was helpful at all, please like, subscribe, or share. I'd be eternally grateful. We'll catch you next time.